What's up, Lego fans? GDP Builds here. This is the way. Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Do post daily. Trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Let's see if we can do it, Lego fans. So, today I'm doing a show off of the Lego Star Wars Knights of Ren transport ship, set number 75128. Came out, came with three minifigures. Came out in 2020. It's retired. It's got 595 pieces. <clears throat> Danger! The Knights of Ren are chasing Rey in their transport ship. This awesome hover vehicle moves at light speed, and the knights can see everything from the cockpit. Take cover to dodge the spring-loaded shooter. Fight back against Kylo Ren's heavily armored soldiers with Rey's lightsaber. You will need to use all your Jedi skills to avoid capture by these bad dudes. That's what it says. On the Lego app. So. I am a little disappointed with this one. And I'll get into that. It's about uh actually a lot disappointed so here's Ray she's got some nice print printing leg printing and some back printing double printed head comes with the lightsaber Luke's lights well Anakin's lightsaber we got a knight of Ren here and he's got front printing leg printing back printing just a black head and custom built blaster And we got another Knight of Ren here. The, we both have unique helmets, too, by the way. He comes with a blaster, <clears throat> also built too, because it's got binoculars on it to make it longer. Uh, front printing, leg printing, back printing, again, just a black head. Not much to see there. Now, the ship, their transport ship uh, overall, like, I mean, on the surface, it looks like it'd probably be, like, you know, fold open or something. No, it's literally just a shell. There's literally under nothing underneath. They could have done, my opinion, Lego could have done at least something to make like a little like sitting area inside or something like a little cockpit. Like they could have built it up down here below the landing skids and like have like at least a sitting area for them inside, but they didn't. It's literally just a shell. Like, there's two hatches that do open up and fig minifigures could sit in there, but that's it. But there there should have been another compartment that opens up and then they could actually sit inside. Because when you can't sit in these compartments and travel through space, you're going to suffocate instantly. So. You got two spring-loaded shooters right here up front on either side. And you got cannons here that are are movable, adjustable, goes up and down, and these ones go up and down. You got landing skids here. The engines are back here. Yeah, that's really it for the ship. Like I said, they should, they could have done more, but they chose not to. They, they could have filled in this entire area, and made it like a little room, sitting room in there or something, like a, a cockpit or something. But they didn't. They chose not to. So. That's why I'm disappointed in this set, that it's literally just a shell. It's just a shell. I guess that's what you get for being in the first order. You just get ships that are just shells. Nothing inside. Yeah, a little short little video for today. <sighs> no speed build, obviously, because I didn't record this one while building and such, so... Anywho, thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. I do post daily, trying to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Okay, it would really help me out. And see you all in the next video, Lego fans. Stay safe out there. Watch out for yourself. Watch out for your family. Tell them you love them. See you all in the next video. This is JDP Builds. This is the way.